Hello to all, welcome back to yet another video. Today we're taking a look into graphing a quadratic equation quickly and without needing a table. There's a lot to cover this video, so without any more rambling, let's jump into it. To graph a quadratic equation, there are three points you will need. The two x-intercepts and the vertex. The x-intercepts, as you probably remember from previous videos, is where the graph crosses the x-axis. Remember factoring in the quadratic formula? Those are going to come really in handy for this. To find the x-intercepts, we have to jump back a couple weeks to when we did factoring and use the quadratic formula. The x-intercepts is when the function is set equal to zero. After all, it's when y equals zero, right? Now, I won't go over completely how to find these zeros as we did that in an earlier video, but here's a card if you need a refresher. The last of the three points we need to graph a quadratic equation is called the vertex. This is the point where the quadratic is mirrored across. To find the vertex, we must first get the equation into the form where a, b, and c are integers. Then find negative b divided by 2a. This is the x value of the vertex. Take this value, put it in for x, and solve. Then you'll get the y value for the vertex. Let's take a look at graphing the equation 2y equals 2x minus 4x squared plus 6. First step is to get this into the proper form. This one is pretty easy, just have to divide both sides by 2 and rearrange in the right order. After doing that, we'll have y equals negative 2x squared plus x plus 3. Next, we find the x-intercepts. In this case, factoring won't work out, and so we'll have to use the quadratic formula. After doing that, we get x equals negative 1 and x equals 3 halves. Plot these points. Then solve for the vertex. Remember, we do that by first finding negative b divided by 2a. In this case, that makes the x value of the vertex 1 fourth. Then we enter 1 fourth in for every x in the equation. Doing that, we find that y equals 25th eighths. Plot this point. Then draw a curve that connects all three of these points. This curve is often referred to as a parabola. And there you have it, the graph of a quadratic equation. Now, let's try one on your own. 3y equals 9x plus 3x squared minus 12. I'll be doing this slowly in the background, but try to do it on your own without help first. And...
And there you have it, the graph of the equation. Hopefully yours looks like this. If not, it's time to rewind and review. That's everything for this week. Next week, we'll be taking a look into something called cubic equations. Until next time, keep on learning.